Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai is one of Weekly Shonen Jump's best-selling manga series of all time, with around 48 million volumes sold. This series helps set the groundwork for just shonens in general, and it is legendary. Its video game adaptation, Dragon Quest Die Infinity Strash, got a new trailer today, and of course, I'm going to be discussing it. We begin with some lore on the Dragon Knight. If you are a Dragon Quest fan, you of course have already heard of this. A Dragon Knight is pretty much the ultimate warrior who is the culmination of the three main races dragons, humans, and darklings from Dragon Quest I. We then get some action RPG footage because that's what this is, unlike mainline Dragon Quest. Underneath we have a note that says that this is development footage and that it is subject to change. Now originally this game was delayed due to them wanting to improve upon the graphics, and considering how this trailer does not give us a hard date, instead we got a to be determined note. Depending on how much longer until this game comes out, we could get a slightly better looking version than even this. And this already was an improvement over the last gameplay trailer I took a look at on this channel. Next up, we have a shot of Dai activating his Dragon Crest, which of course covers his body with Dragonic Aura. Game mechanic wise, this could be a buff that raises his defense and attack power because, well, that's what it does in the manga slash anime. Then we get another shot with some text underneath telling us, change your party with memento bonds. I'm very interested to see how this will work. If it's like Dragon Quest Die, a hero's bonds, it might be kind of fan servicey where you can form bonds with all kinds of characters, even villains like Flazard, and have them on your party, which I have no problem with at all. But looking at the trailer, when this showed up, the characters that were shown were Mam and Crocodine, which of course are normal friendly companions in the manga slash anime, so it might just go the more traditional route, not fan servicey, we'll have to see. Next, we have another shot telling us to challenge the Temple of Recollection. A few interesting things here. We are able to play as other characters such as Pop, Mam, and Hyunkel. Typical RPG stuff, but we did not see this in the last Infinity Strash trailer, so this is very welcome. Now with this Temple of Recollection feature, I'm not sure what it does. I'm assuming it's something where you can fight enemies you have battled before, we'll have to wait and see. We then get some footage of Dai fighting some major villains. I wanted to point out that we get a shot of Dai with his design from the later slash final arcs of the manga slash anime, so this game will probably cover all of the content from the anime manga. I think it's fair to assume this since this will probably come out after the anime has finished airing, so no spoilers there even though Jump Force has already spoiled us. We then get the platforms PS4, PS5, and Steam. You already know I'll be picking up that physical Nintendo Switch copy. As I mentioned earlier, this game has a to-be-determined release date. But arguably, the greatest thing to come from this is the confirmation of a simultaneous worldwide release. You love to see it. I literally lost sleep at night because I worried that this game would not get localized because Dai is just not as popular over here in the West because people just don't watch the show. It's very sad, but my worries were all put to ease and today was a very, very good day for Dragon Quest fans. Specifically, Dragon Quest Die fans, you know, were just superior. That pretty much wraps up the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Dragon Quest. Today was a double upload because I didn't think we'd get a new Dragon Quest Die trailer, but we did, and I'm not complaining. So, <sighs> it's a good time, it's a good time. The next couple of days, we'll probably get even more news on Dragon Quest stuff. Stay tuned because I'm going to be the guy that covers it catch you in the next Dragon Quest video. Join me and transcend humanity. Later.